Janice is the grandma and mom of the staff and students, kind of the heart of the middle school. Her library is at the center. It's a place, kind of a haven in the craziness and chaos that middle school can be. There's nothing artificial about Janice. She's genuine. She gets to know kids and has meaningful relationships that span not just the school year that they may be passing through, but across time. And I have the luxury of having witnessed firsthand in my own family um, the, the transformative and impactful work she does for students. My name is Janice Harrington, and I'm the library tech at Templeton Unified School District, and I've been in that position for the past 22 years. I'm also the ASB clerk, so my duties include a lot of things. I love my job. It's been the greatest job that I've ever had. I have such a great relationship with the people that work here, and I know basically all the employees all together because I've been here for so long. I am retiring though. <laughs> she is always there for the students and the staff, no matter if it's before hours or after hours. She headed up the building of our local library in Templeton. She's been a chapter secretary for us for over 10 years. She's a great union leader. As a member of the negotiating team, she would passionately advocate for increased compensation or advancement of contract language or employee rights. CSEA staff reductions and layoffs were minimized during the time of her leadership due to her creativity and willingness to place long-term benefit ahead of short-term gains. I've interacted with her um, across the table, as it were, uh, as one of the district's negotiators. I've just been so impressed that she brings to what can sometimes be an environment that can be tense and, and difficult to navigate. The same person who she is, she's genuine, she's reasonable, um, she's thoughtful. And as a result, so many of our interactions have been productive and positive and helped to move the work forward. She's a deserving individual, not only for what she does, but what she stands for, which is family, friends, and community. Janice has made a legacy level contribution. Um, some people, you know, for better or for worse, come to work and dutifully perform their responsibilities, and that's about the size of it. But there's so many additional things that Janice has always um, been to us and meant to us. Janice had a true gift to make even the most shy or struggling student feel comfortable, feel welcomed, and feel engaged. She teaches them the value of books, how they're organized, why they should be respected and loved. Books are valuable, and her love of books is something that she communicates with the staff and with the students. My greatest pleasure in my job is seeing a child be excited about reading. I had this little girl, she was so restricted in what she was able to read. And so I went over and I found these chapter books. By the end of the day, she had finished that entire book. She came running into the library and said, Mrs. Harrington, this is the best book I have ever read. Now. She has never read a book before, so <laughs> that was saying something. Well, I saw her just recently, it's been years now, and she grabbed my hand and she said, Mrs. Harrington, I still love to read. And that, to me, made my whole job worth it. If I were to speak directly to Janice, I'd point out the tremendous legacy she is leaving in the heart mind, soul, and spirit of the students and staff who had the honor to be a part of her life. I know it's been my honor and privilege to work alongside her. Everybody loves you, Janice. So Janice, we so appreciate you. The middle school will not be the same without you. Janice, I think that what you bring to our site what you've brought to these students, what you've brought to the teachers has always been from your heart first. You've always done it with a sincerity, with a kindness and compassion that not only reaches everybody who's doing well, but those people who might have hidden struggles or challenges. And I know that that makes a difference in their lives. 
So from the bottom of my heart, I say thank you. Can I cry now? <laughs> Ooh.